Howdy cowdies, hope you're going good. We've been busy again here at the Collector. We've got another cool little auction set up for tomorrow night. Heaps more badges, footy one school badges. There's a school badge from good old Bowie High, Sandringham College Prefect badge. This is all military stuff. These are all MCC medallions. These are VRC, VATC over the back. Some nice costume jewellery. The big sort of sun and moon brooch is made by Swarovski. VFL Park medallions. There's some nice cigarette cards. A couple of nice watches. A Boulevard Digital. And I think a Novus red faced LED. We've got some really nice net skis this week. Uh, this one up on the stand there has got a face that rotates. Uh, we've got some other military badges. The one with the little red sections across is a Japanese World War II wound badge. This is a lovely um, World War I, I think, English Commonwealth badge or something. So it's got the native animals from the different countries of the Commonwealth. And it's a lovely little, I think, nine carat gold brooch there with a nice bit of jade or greenstone. There's some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. And we've got this lovely big Art Deco sideboard made by Burge. And how's this for fancy pants? Pro Hearts and Patrick's Day race meeting. In its own box. There it is, the signed Pro Heart print. Really cool thing. It's got all some paperwork and stuff from Elder Fine Art. Good old Jim Elder up in South Australia. Uh, bust of Beethoven. Always a happy chap. What else have we got? Some movie posters. These are pretty cool old horror ones. The Dunwich, HP Lovecraft. That's pretty cool. Tomb of Legia. Vincent Price with the black cat, but it has been trimmed down. You can see the black border on the left, but not on the right. And this one's really cool. Death Machines. The killers of the future are ready now. Now. This cool group. Nice big World War II, 1940 dated Australian military great coat with a nice little water bottle as well. Yes, yeah, so we've got some ladies' accessories, CDs, Western gear, three boxes of as new swimwear. Sets the perfect weather for it. Some cool lighting, audio gear, microphones. These are pretty cool, the 70s sort of. It's probably just easier to do that rather than to try and explain what they're doing. Fishing gear, giddy up, cowboy boots, a Ouija board with a nice little side table with a really cool patina and some bits of interesting ephemera in amongst as well. Uh, big group lot, four boxes and some pictures, some cards, little box of sort of barware. What else have we got? An old iron with some other stuff. Heaps of Lego, a couple of bits of dolls furniture with the Lego, a couple of nice planet lamps. A little bit of pitting and stuff on the orange one, but the grey one's nice with a little sort of bench mount clamp. A little expandable sewing box is cute. I think it's got some stuff in there. Yep. Footy cigarette cards. There's some pretty cool amateur football records in here with some nice membership medallions and badges. Some cowboy spurs, military stuff, costume jewellery, car badges. What else have we got? There you go, a couple of nice Australian landscape prints, Hans Heisen and Robert Johnson with a nice big book, The Art of Fred McCubbin. Got some really nice paintings this week, actually. Mel Underwood watercolours, nice. I uh, can't remember who this is, Margot Bolton. I think Temple of the Sun Goddess or something like that. I've uh, got more boxes of bar, bar gear, beer cans. FB tail light sort of unit there with a bunch of letters, sort of car lettering. More nice look, a little lot of books, Ned Kelly, the Bible and some other gear. More car badges. Boxes of as new sort of packaged light up toys and things. Heaps of footy gear. What else have we got? This is a nice big collection of all American sort of soft drink bottles. Heaps of cool stuff in amongst, including good old Lemmy the Lemonade. Batman comics, Polaroid cameras, Australian pottery, big lot of sort of English coal port, I think, and other sort of floral arrangements and porcelain flowers. Records, big Jim's van with some Lord of the Rings figures and a roll and a Rubik's Cube. Another mixed group, lot of vinyl down the bottom there, bit of Debbie Harry in front. 
One Sheep Posters, Bet Midler, uh, The Right Stuff. It's all sorts of gear. Butterflies are free. All right, nice lot of footy gear with this cool little quilt. Um, ephemera, sort of car-related stuff with some cool old advertising bits. More car badges, Japanese ones. A little, lot of tribal wooden carvings and stuff. I've got some really nice paintings this week. Great little pro heart enamel. Claude Panker, Hermansburg School. Paul Margosi. It's a really nice Charles Wheeler, the Dandenongs. Another nice Paul Margosi. I think it's titled Peregrine Falcons, but then he's got another title on the back, Hawkeye and Trapper. And it's nice to know Paul Margosi's a MASH fan. <laughs> Carlos Mendes watercolour, Wilson's Prom, really nice thing. Ewald Namajira watercolour, again, another Hermansburg school piece. Original period frame, really nice thing. Um, Kath Ballard watercolour. Quite typical, just nice and soft. What else we got? This thing's interesting. Jock or Jack Sykes, 1974 watercolour, little portrait there. Nice big Reg Cox watercolour as well. Autumn morning at Castle Main. So we've got some really nice paintings this week. And also we got this one as well. I think it's Ronald Kirk, something like that. He's a pretty important um, theatre designer. So this is Sir Robert Helpman as Lord Alfred Douglas in The Cobra, which was at the, performed at the Sydney Opera House, 1983. Car and truck badges, some posters and movie posters and other things there rolled up. Collingwood Premiership Port and some newspapers to go with it. Saw LP record, cool lot of kids' books, cool lot of Polaroids, a couple of pith helmets, nice little collection of old bottles and the sort of charts, the engineer charts. Really nice original frame Trechikov print. Nice little group of oriental gear. This little tree, these are tiny little shells that have been used to make up the flowers. It's just a cute little thing. Um, some good comic books and a couple of felt pennants. This is a nice collection of cigarette cards. There are some reproductions in amongst, but they're mainly original ones, all sporting related. Full beer cans, tinnies, probably should call them. Some signed Jeff Fennick stuff. So you've got a pair of boxing gloves and the fan photo as well. Some cool heavy metal albums, Striper, which were the Christian rock band. Funnily enough, the album's called To Hell With The Devil. This Accept LP has never been opened. Coloured vinyl. Megadeth. Killing is my business and business is good. There you go. All Polaroids, nice little Japanese carving. Costume jewellery, Ronnie. There you go. Seen better days, but pretty cool print along the Nile. Lovely bit, sort of 1930s Art Deco Cleopatra. Cool lot of boxing cards, records. I think you've got signed Young Talent Time, I can see, poking out there. More Polaroids, some cool fantasy art books, Elvis trading cards, White Snake Double LP. Nice little lot of glass and crystal. Motley Crue Australian LP. Um, some more pith helmets. This is a ripper. This little felt hat there with a lovely embroidered sort of hat band. A la, and it reminds me of Jimi Hendrix or something. Um, Holden badges. Samantha Fox, Colette and other records. Phantom Comics, Australian singles. Some nice bits of ephemera, old catalogues and stuff. Some Robert Beck little beakers. Cool lot of singles, the Colton amongst there, Queen, and there's heaps of cool stuff, bit of Hendrix. Nice little lot of etchings, two Bon Jovi LPs. Another good group, lot of 12-inch singles and LPs, the uh, Prince soundtrack from Batman. You can see the Ghostbusters coloured vinyl there. Some cool old receipts. Nice collection of models of yesteryear. Lovely box set there and all the other ones in their boxes. Couple of cool old beer advertising cards. Nice little group of reference books, including the catalogue of Grant Featherston's Buttons. Chinese ginger jars. Nice couple of busts. Nice little collection of art glass. <coughs> Lovely little watercolour. Um, unsigned. Um, there's a label on the back from a picture framer in Scotland and Glasgow. A couple of nice framed book illustrations. So it's an original Norman Lindsay page out of one of his books. And this is a nice little Margaret Mahood. 
piece. Um, Japanese woodblock print, clockwork orange day bill, cool lot of Batman comics. They're all in consecutive numbers. So there's number Batman, uh, detective comics is volume one through to four. So there's about four or five sets in there, all consecutive numbers. This is a lovely book, A Century of Progress in Printing. Nice little Ainsley three-piece set. Two more nice bits of classical Ainsley. Lovely little set of six hand-decorated oriental eggs. Um, some interesting art in Australia. It's got a lovely woodblock on the front cover there by George Finney. Um, Royal Worcester and Royal Dalton. Nice um, little jellyfish paperweight. Got this lovely little watercolour, which is signed and dated 1928, lower right, but I can't make out the signature for the life of me. But it's a sweet little thing. Nice palette, unusual little palette with those sort of pinky tones through it. These are a couple of nice bits of Kubasek Schiller. So Australian enamel artist predominantly. Little matchbox holder, which is signed. But the little cigarette box is not signed, but it's got a nice little label there from Mobler, Burke Road in Camberwell. A couple of nice little bits, I think, of marble art or something. Belgian, I think. Um, really nice set of 10 Robert Beck goblets with the fat lava glaze. Nice little signed art glass bowl. Royal Crown Derby Robin and another little Royal Crown Derby bird. An unusual Carlton Ware Rouge uh, table cigarette lighter. <coughs> there you go. There's more stuff, but I'm not going to show you anything. Then you guys don't have any surprises. <laughs> Anyway, hopefully being good and everything. Hopefully we see ya tomorrow night.